Dang it. Heck yeah. Right here. Put your hands up. Tell everybody. You made the play. Tell everybody. You're just a little turd. Just be aggressive, but safe, you know? Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I get fired up, too. Yes! Woo! Boom! That's two touchdowns! Thank it! <laughs> uh, nothing better, nothing better than Philip Rivers mic'd up. That is the absolute best. Nothing better than having Hi, our Mike Garofolo mic'd up and his yeah, daughter honey. Carmen. Let's bring her on. There she is with yeah, the football. Listen. We've Hi, done a great job. Hi, Carmen. We've done a great job for what, three days now or two and a half days of managing Carmen running around the house and not interfering with the broadcast. But she's she's in it now. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Say it. Carmen. Say it, Carmen. Hi. Now, there you go. don't oh, knock hi. over hi. Daddy's coffee. She's reaching for the coffee. Don't she's reaching the for the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> don't, Daddy, don't, Daddy don't. doesn't need help spilling his coffee. He <laughs> did it himself the other day. <laughs> oh, Carmen, just Carmen. yell for help. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Carmen, what's your favorite Paw Patrol character? Do you have one? Oh, I don't, oh, we haven't oh. gotten to Paw Patrol Ooh. yet. We're no. on Daniel Tiger, right? But we love GMFB. Yeah. We yeah, want we more GMFB. Yes. We love Kay and Kyle and Nate and Peter, right? They'll be back. They'll be back. Yes, Carmen. <laughs> no need to worry about that. Oh, that is <laughs> the best. Oh, now so, we get Mike? Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mike, do we really have to do this? <laughs> Sorry. Do we? Or no? We don't have to. Yeah. All right, let's do it. It's up to um, you, man. <laughs> Car Car you Carmen's got GMFB. great hair. Hey, we Mike. miss Carmen. How's that? Yes. Um, <laughs> so, so let's. Where'd she, where'd she get that great hair? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thinking that. Not dark oh, hair, and God. it's actually there. So uh, it wasn't for me. How about that? All right. That? Uh, let's get to some business here. So we mentioned Philip Rivers now with yeah. the Colts. How did this all come together? Well, it came together because of his familiarity with Frank Reich and Nick Sirianni there in Indianapolis, and we always kind of targeted uh, Rivers as a possible uh, solution to the Colts quarterback situation while also potentially holding on to Jacoby Brissett and, and, and seeing where this goes with both guys. We'll see the way that the Colts handle their uh, depth chart. But as Judy first reported yesterday, Rivers and the Colts came to agreement in the afternoon on a one-year $25 million deal. Now, I'm going to add a little wrinkle to this one here that we may not know about to this point. The Colts and Jaguars also had discussions about a potential trade for Nick Foles. And it got to the point where they were discussing draft pick compensation. And it sounds like this was going on while they were also having contract discussions with Phillip Rivers. Now, I mentioned this to Tom Pelissero late last night. And he says, wait a minute, does that mean maybe not as much conviction for Phillip Rivers? I said, no, I think that they always had multiple irons in the fire and trying to figure out which one came together their best and which one worked best. But it was interesting that the Jaguars were willing to engage in talks with the Colts to potentially trade Nick Foles within the division. Wow, that is an interesting nugget there. Jeezy breaking it down. Love that. Let's discuss that possible wrinkle that could have taken place. Potentially, there was at least talk of it, Judy. But Foles, he's another name out there that could potentially be on the move. That would have been interesting to see Foles in Indianapolis and not Phillip Rivers. What do you think, Judy? Well, look, they considered all of the options that were going to be available, right? They, you know, thought about Tom Brady. Obviously, they thought about Phillip Rivers a lot. They thought about Nick Foles. The thing that pushed Phillip Rivers forward was, again, the conviction from Frank Reich, their relationship, their comfort level with each other. They love... Philip Rivers' enthusiasm, his leadership ability. He loves football. They feel like he can still play, especially if you put him behind a really good offensive line, which the Colts have. They'll give him some protection, cut down on the turnovers. They feel like he's still got it. Obviously, this is not a long-term deal. It's a one-year deal. We'll see where it goes after that. But they feel good that he can be dropped into a team that they feel like is playoff ready and championship caliber ready right now. Somebody told me the game is a game of big plays. They feel like Phillip Rivers can still make big plays. It's why they went out and got DeForest Buckner too. They want to make big plays on both sides of the ball because they feel like they are right there that they could win a championship soon.
Well, Sean, Rivers, as we know, he's a gunslinger and almost seems like he was preconditioned to throw it in the vicinity of wide receivers because he was under duress so much. That gunslinger mentality, is that going to translate with the Colts where they need to find more weapons beside T.Y. Hilton for him? Yeah, he's going to have to pick and choose his spots to, to be that gunslinger. And I think Judy just talked about the enthusiasm he's going to bring. But, you know, wide receivers and tight ends and running backs, the reason why they all love playing with Phillip Rivers is he's one of those quarterbacks. That's, he's going to let you make a play. This ball's coming out of my hand. I'm throwing it out there. You gotta make, you're either going to make me look really good or really bad. Now, one of the things that drove Anthony Lynn nuts last year was the interceptions. And it's, look, take care of the football. Take care of the football. Well, the problem was, they didn't have a run game. They had the 28th ranked rushing offense last season. So that all changes now with the Indianapolis Colts. And just like a great pair of Nike running shoes, they slide right on your feet and they yeah. feel so good. <laughs> good company, this man. This is the perfect fit for Phillip Rivers <laughs> yes. because that yep. offensive line that Judy Batista just mentioned, man, they are so good. They are so physical. They're going to have a good run game when Heem Hines and Marlon Mack and they just locked up Anthony Costanzo, the left tackle. So this is a perfect fit for Phillip Rivers. And how fitting that we just had Mike G on with his kid because now Phillip Rivers with his nine kids, what better place than to be than Indianapolis right now, the great Midwest to raise nine kids. Yes, but here's the difference, though. If Phillip Rivers was doing what Mike G was doing, all the kids would fill up the screen. Like, we wouldn't be able to see Phillip Rivers. There are so many of them, We would right? need a quad box. Yes, we would need a quad box. But you know what? In Indianapolis, just do it. That's what they have to do. All right, Sean? Nice. There you go. See what I did there? All right, plenty more free agency frenzy presented by Nike in your future. We'll actually have the latest on Tom Brady, what we're waiting for, and what's next and what can we anticipate. All that and much more. Stay with us. Judy, Will, Kim.